The stuff that the first dentist told me kept bothering me. Guess what? This guy will grow at night time. Mm -hmm. This guy will grow during the daytime. So that's why how you're gonna help with it. While you're doing Invisalign, we make the teeth upright like that. Hey guys! Welcome back to our channel! If you're new here, my name is Livy. Make sure to subscribe! For today's video, I will talk about my orthodontic treatment. A month ago, I went to the dentist because my tooth was hurting so bad. Some of you might have watched the video already, but the dentist told me that my bone structure and the teeth arrangement is off and it will eventually cause the issue in the future. So in my case, I'm expecting to be alive until like 150 years old, maybe 200 years old, something like that. So my teeth is so important. If I don't fix this now, it will cause a lot of issues in the future, such as jaw pain, headache, shoulder ache, or something like that. I don't want that, for sure, right? But at the time, the pain of the certain tooth was so crazy, so I needed to fix it right now. So I eventually get the root canal from other dentists. So the root canal of the tooth is done already. But the stuff that the first dentist told me kept bothering me. So I decided to go to the first dentist again to get another counseling. The following video is all in English, but I believe it'll help the people who is considering about getting the orthodontic treatment or people who want to listen to English as a study for TOEIC or something. So I put the subtitle both in English and Japanese and also other subtitles in the setting. I hope you learn something from this video and I decided to get this treatment eventually. So I will keep you updated how it's like from now. So make sure to subscribe if you're interested and this video actually gets so long so I decided to separate it. The next video is coming very soon. Let's get started! Hi, Toko Hello. <laughs> so I came to the dentist today. Yay! <laughs> so I came to the dentist today. I came to the dentist today. I came to the dentist こととかいろいろ相談して今回社さんが来てくださってあの、So that's how we alter your facial type. Your border here is also growing on this side. So mm -hmm. this is your left, this is your right. Right side border, you see how the mandible is situated like that. Right now it's not crazy bad, but it will not stay there. So let's say if I take the same x-ray five years down the road, mm -hmm. you'll see more different. And 10 years, a little more different. So mm -hmm. when you are over 60, 70, 80, mm -hmm. you will notice yourself hey, My face is crooked. So that's what it is. Okay. Is that because of her, her eating habits or where did it come from? That's genetic, basically. 
She has a clenching habit on that side more than the other, especially when she sleeps. So this is something that she cannot control. Like during the day, she'll be able to, oh, no, I'm going to eat like or even and try to compensate. But doing that will promote more muscle growth. Because if you make conscious effort, I'm not going to eat on that side. But I'm going to only on this, eat, eat this side and make it more symmetrical. Mm -hmm. So as you increase more and more on this side, guess what? This side will grow at night time. Mm -hmm. This side will grow during the daytime. Okay. So that's why how you're going to have like, Okay. So if you look at like a people around over 50, 60, mm -hmm. you'll notice that their face grew. They became bigger. It's because they eat during the day whatever they want and never had time to relax. Mm -hmm. And also, you have only unilateral like, construction more. Mm -hmm. But some people have expand their face crazy. Mm -hmm. So even if you lose your 20 pounds, people realize, oh, only my face is big. Mm -hmm. And the rest of the body is so skinny. Mm -hmm. And it, does, it looks awkward. You'll see that essentially your face is Growing, growing, growing. I see. People want to normally have bigger maxilla. Mm -hmm. Yours is reversed. Your bone lower is very big. Mm -hmm. Top very small. This is what's called pre maxilla. This region is all depressed. Maxillary bone stops growing at age seven. That's why they're compensating and crook it this way because they know that something is off but the teeth have to be compensated so that you can eat so you can grow so dental compensation kicked in that is why your teeth are crooked this way and you know, distorted that way you have like a very deficient bone growth here compared to here uh, there are two different ways of growing the adult bone mm -hmm. of this problem one you can have a childlike expansion mm -hmm. meaning we open the suture the suture is right here Mm -hmm. So we can still open up the suture and make it grow fully like as if you were a child, seven year old. But then that requires screw technique. Mm -hmm. The screw has to be on top mm -hmm. and make it as mm -hmm. This is what it is. You put mini screw and just open it like that. Mm -hmm. So that's one way. But this is a little aggressive approach <laughs> and it is costly. So that's one way. But another way is the way I do it. I use typical regular expander. Now if you look at this person, this person has no crookedness whatsoever. All teeth are straight. But the reason that this person is doing is because if you have a, this type of arrangement, not only teeth are buffed out, it subjects these teeth like a weakness later when you eat. So we want this bone has to be expanded and the teeth feel comfortable. So that's what it is. So I use this, do it this way, like this, make the tooth separate like that. Mm. We try to make this slowly like this. And then while you're doing Invisalign, we make the teeth upright like that. So making a new bone front. Okay. So this, right now your teeth are here. Your bone is very small. Mm -hmm. Your teeth are boxed out and crooked like that. We make this separated like that. Mm -hmm. And then make it come out like that. So you have a new bone front using your teeth. It's a different approach. I've been doing this for more than 20 years, very successfully. Mm -hmm. There are like less than five cases I can say didn't work very well. But all those five cases, the patient cooperation was close to none. <laughs> like they don't listen, they're teenagers. And... But people who are cooperating, no problem. Whether they're teens or adults, it doesn't matter. But most cooperative patients produce good results mm -hmm. without much problem. Nevertheless, it's 100% guaranteed. No procedure is a guarantee. Mm -hmm. Even including the Invisalign, we always make sure that patient understands this is a biologic movement. This is something your bone has to respond. Mm -hmm. So if your bone metabolism is very low, this is not going to work. Mm -hmm. Or work very slower than normal people. Mm -hmm. Or people without normal problems, nothing immune problems, no diabetes, no high blood pressure, you know, some like an oh, inherent disease. Mm -hmm. Those people, that's why we can't do it. Mm -hmm. It's only for people healthy, mm -hmm. no medical history, mm -hmm. not taking any medicine, mm -hmm. perfectly normal healthy subject only. Mm -hmm. So people with a normal nothing problem, mm -hmm. usually it doesn't become any problem. Okay. Unless they don't follow the problem list, like a don't eat this, don't eat that, you know, mm -hmm. you have to do this, you know, all these things. Okay. Yeah, so the, so the patient cooperation is essential. Mm -hmm. But what you really want is to make sure that your dimension is wide open. So, of course, this doesn't work as well like this. If it works, it's 100%. 
but the way flow expansion is not 100%. Mm -hmm. It's about maybe 80% to 70%. Mm -hmm. But even if it's only 70%, even if it's only 50% improvement, you're in good shape. Mm -hmm. Rather than having no results. So, one expander can expand only 5 milliliters. Mm -hmm. There's a limit of each group. Mm -hmm. So after we expand 5 mm, if it's not enough, then we can use second expander and go a little more. Once we start expansion, we have to see if you really need second one. But most patients, to 95%, I only did one expansion and it was fine. Mm -hmm. 